Hello, this video highlights the new features added to Atlas Disconnected version 4.0. Atlas is now available on Android devices. Go to the Atlas IT page for details. Starting with version 4.0, the maps in the gallery tab will have a cloud button if they haven't been downloaded yet, no cloud button if they have been downloaded to the device, or they will be orange if the download was interrupted. If this happens, click the cloud button again to re-download the map. I'll go ahead and download this map. Once the map has been downloaded, it will appear in the On Device tab. Options to update or delete a map can be found by pressing the three dots. I'm going to open the Columbus map by clicking it. Starting with Atlas 4.0, you'll see a message asking if you want to load layer visibility settings from your last session. If you click No, Atlas will apply the default theme. To load a layer visibility theme, go to the Circuit Display tool and choose from one of the presets. I'll choose the Pull Anno Visible theme. This theme makes the pull with Anno layer visible, and as you can see, all the pulls on the map now have labels with location number, height, and class. If I were to quit Atlas right now, and then open it again, and then click Yes when asked to load previous layer visibility settings, this theme would be displayed instead of the default theme. Now let's say I want to create my own layer visibility theme. First, I'll check the Show Layer List button. I don't need to see the normal pull annotations. I'll turn that off. And also, I'm going to hide Customer Annotation and Secondary Anno. Now that I have the map the way I want it, I'll close the layer list and name this new theme, Pull with Anno Dan. And I'll also add a comment. Now that I have my theme saved, I'll go ahead and set the theme back to default. On the Options tab, we've added a large device symbol for step transformers. And as you can see, there's a new tab called Base Maps. When you're connected to the internet, you now have the ability to display various base maps. Take streets, for example. Notice how you can still see the AEP road outlines. This isn't necessary since streets has its own roads, so I created a custom theme called No AEP Roads. If I choose the satellite base map, you can see how some of the AEP symbols have become difficult to see. In this case, I can go to the layer list and turn on the AEP shade white layer to make the symbols more visible. To remove the base map, click the Remove Base Map button. In a future release of Atlas, the Circuits tab will also list the circuit name, plus give you the ability to change the circuit color in cases where it's difficult to differentiate between two adjacent circuits that are similar colors. Starting with Atlas 4.0, the Location Calculator is able to drop multiple points which stay on the map even when the tool is closed. The Copy XY button has changed too. When you copy the coordinates of an object, the clipboard output now matches the map unit setting. So, if I change the map units and then copy the coordinates for this pool, you can see that the coordinate format is the same as the map unit setting. Starting with Atlas 4.0, marked locations created from the Spectrum job box remain on the map even when the job box is closed. Because of this new feature, the job list is no longer refreshed automatically, so you need to click the Refresh button manually to update the list. Furthermore, multiple jobs can be sent to Google Maps by selecting them in the list and then pressing the Google Maps button. You can rearrange the order of the locations and add new ones. And did you know that Google Maps can be downloaded to your device? This is helpful when you lose internet connection but still need to use Google Maps. Do a Google search for Download a Google Map to Use Offline for more information. Finally, it's important that a record have coordinates or a location number or a premise number in order for Atlas to send the coordinates to Google Maps. For example, this record cannot be located because it does not have coordinates or a premise number. However, you could still find this location by manually searching for the address with the Atlas Web Search or with Google Maps.